Ibarakatha Yahweh, Ibarakatha Yahweh Shah, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of great millstone salutations to you brothers that's pushing the truth and sincerity and faith. You know, um, it's an episode of uh, GMS Open Notebook. And uh, in light of the, uh, the events that happened that took place down there in Orlando, Florida, where the uh, Lord sent forth judgment upon the wicked. And when you look at the news, or, um, when you look at the news clips, um, you see that a lot of a lot of people that got judged down there of those homosexuals were uh, Jake Israelites, you know. And um, the topic that I heard about on the radio was um, is the Lord in control, you know. And we know according to the scriptures that it is the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is in control. And um, just touching on the name. Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Most High, He is, and Yahweh Shah, He is the Deliverer, right? And that's a force, that's a power of judgment. By Him, judgments are weighed. By Him, it's the spirit that He puts on upon a man to do His bidding, whether it be to uh, kill multiple people, or whether it be to kill one man, or whether it be uh, be a prophet and prophesy his words. That's the Lord that puts uh, the spirit. On those men to do that, you know. Now, the first scripture that I want to bring out is of the book of Samuel's. And we read the book of um, Samuel's, and, we, and this precept comes out um, pretty frequent, frequent. But this is a woman, she's praising the Most High for all his works. And this is what the power, the name Yahweh has the power to do. I'm going to start from. Um, this is um this is first Samuels. I'm start um at chapter one. First Samuels, I'm sorry, first Samuels chapter one. I mean chapter two, verse one. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord, my horn is exalted in the Lord, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord. For there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our, our God, our power. It says, Talk no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God, a power of knowledge. And by him actions are weighed. Yeah, our God, the God Yahweh, which we come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he's a God of knowledge. You know, by him things away that incidents that what well, that that shooting in the club the lord weighed that action he had that th those um he had that taking place he had that taking place we won't keep on reading though it said the bowls of the mighty men are broken and they that stumble at girt with strength they that were full have hired out themselves for bread and they that were hungry cease so that the barren have born seven and she that had many children is wax feeble the Lord killeth and maketh alive he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up yeah because the Lord killeth and he maketh alive he has the power to do that he has the power to to kill to make alive he has the power to break the bows of a mighty man meaning break the power of your army you know by the way of the gun he has the power to, to make the men that are hirelings um the men that are hirelings, hold on, I'm going to read it again. This is verse 5. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. The scriptures say they that were full, meaning the men that have substance. They've been brought to a lower state that they had to hire themselves out for bread. That The Lord, Yahweh, have the power to make you rich one day and poor the next day, man. You know, so that's, that's why it says speak not proudly against the Most High, you know. Uh, verse uh, 7 it says the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich he bringeth low and lifteth up so the Lord killeth he maketh alive and he maketh poor and he maketh rich he maketh rich that's the power of the Heavenly Father knowing letting you know that the Heavenly Father is in control now the next scripture I want to bring out is Isaiah 45 and 7 
Isaiah 45 and 7 it says, It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Yeah, it's the Lord. He does all of these things. He creates peace and he creates evil. You know, and, and that was an act of so-called evil in the eyes of the world, but that was a just judgment in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and his angels because that was nothing but wickedness. All types of homosexuality was going on in those clubs, you know, and the Lord sent forth judgment. And it's going to be more judgment coming down the pipe. You know, this is this is just the beginning. America's in a constant state of war, all right? And if they want to blame it on ISIS or homegrown terror, terror or whatever, that's that's an incident. That's an incident that domestically brings forth that uh, police state, that martial law, man. That's another inch closer to martial law, you know. And and it's it's they're pushing the agenda of pushing um, silence and hate speech behind these attacks, gun control, you know. And the Lord is in control of this because He told us that these things will happen. He told us that He uh He He caused Egypt to err. We're going to stay into these scriptures and read this one more time. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. I'm going to read up a little bit. I'm going to start at 5. It says, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I gird thee though thou hast not known me. Yeah, they, there's no Lord behind. Um, there's no Lord besides the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And his name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shah. There's no other gods out there that are beside him and the scriptures were said that um thou has not known me because our people have not known the lord you know our people have not known the lord now the next scripture is we're going to get into amos the book of amos chapter 3 verse 6 amos 3 verse 6 it says it says Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? Yeah, because these people on, on the news, it was like evil in Orlando, acts of terror in, 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 in Orlando. Is that not evil done in the city? And that's what the Lord have done. You know, the Lord have brought evil in the city. You know, and, and, and this is just a small tidbit of what's to come. Because America, according to the Bible, is going to be destroyed. You know, this thing is going to be forgotten about soon. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 35. It says, To me belongeth vengeance and recompense, which means payback. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the thing that shall come upon them make haste. Yeah, these judgments. That's going to come upon Babylon. Not, upon, not only upon Babylon the Great, which is America, but also throughout the whole four corners of the earth. The scriptures say the Lord cometh cruel. And we're going to, the Lord's will, we get that scripture. But it says, to me belong in vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, meaning these Edomites, man. Their foot is going to slide, meaning their power. is They're going to slide out of power soon, man. Through these different wars and through these different tribulations, man. Through the, through the pestilence, through the terror that's coming. Because the Lord, Yahweh, is the king of terrors, man. They said it was terrible up in that club, man. You can hear the, uh, you can hear the, um, the, the shots going into the flesh. The people screaming. It was, must have been sweaty and musty in there because of a bunch of sweating homosexuals in there. The, the smell of the smoke, the gun, the gunpowder, the blood. People probably had somebody's brains in their face, man. They say it was terrible in there, man. But like the scripture says, to me belonging vengeance and recompense, their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. The things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself. For his servants, when he seeth that their power is gone, and that there is none to shut up or, or left. And, and going into, well, I'm not even going to speak on that, man. But because we're going in on, on the judgment of uh, uh, of the Lord and how the Lord has power to do these different things. You know? 
But this is the time of tribulation. This is the time of vengeance, like the scriptures say. The time of vengeance wherein where it is written. The Lord shall do his judgment. Because wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole planet Earth. I got another scripture, though. This is, uh, let me see. You know, all hell, all hell is going to break loose in America, man, soon. What you see going on down in Venezuela, man, is just a sign of things to come pretty soon. That's why the scriptures say it hasteneth to come. The judgments hasteneth to come. They, 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 they're coming, man. 2 Peter 2, verse 6. It says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example, which would be an, an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Now you got the whole planet Earth coming together, you know, in solidarity to show mourning for homosexuals. Put th this book when, without bringing the judgment, you got to tell you the judgment that the Lord said for homosexuals, man. Men with men, women with women, you know, the Lord looks at that as an abomination according to the scriptures. But this, we, we live in a world that doesn't accept the scriptures for truth or doesn't want to govern themselves by the scriptures. Therefore, they have not known the Heavenly Father. They have not known the judgments of the Heavenly Father. So when the judgments of the Yahweh Bashim Yahushah come and upon them, you know, the world looks at it as a tragic event. But the men that have an understanding of the Lord look at it as the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Knowing that the, the major judgment, when the Lord revealeth the secrets of men, you know, and destroy them to their face, because he know if they're in the works that are not seen, you know, that day is approaching, man. Now, this is Leviticus 20, verse 13. It says, if a man also lie with mankind, homosexuality, as he lieth with woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Yeah, and those people that got their judgment, their blood, their own blood, their own iniquity was upon them. You don't think that a lot of those uh, uh, victims, so to speak, had homosexual relationships before they went to the club? Or was getting ready to have homosexual relationships? Which is according to the scriptures. So when that judgment came, they didn't know. And they didn't have no remedy. They was in there texting their family members the last little last moments of, the, of, of their life. You know? That's something to take into consideration for the times to come because right now, like the people, like the world says, or the people on television say, our hearts go out to the families of them mourning. Pretty soon, the people that feel that way, people's families' hearts are going to go out to you because you're going to be in the destruction. You're going to be in those tragic, epic terrorist events. You know? But with that, we're going to end this video, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and faith and honesty. And into the next episode, GMS Open Notebook. Shalom.